five weeks and one day ago, Hurricane Irma hit, and this Kaimito was hit hard. It was knocked over completely and had some major roots that were snapped. So what we did was to cut back the tree. Since the roots were damaged, it couldn't support all the leaves. So we cut back a lot of the tree, uh, well over half of it. And then we needed the bobcat to stand it up. We used two two by fours to prop it up and then a whole bunch of sand on top of the roots. Not only did the, this help the roots survive, but it also helped to brace the tree as weight on top of those roots. So even though we took a lot of the canopy off and we've been watering it, this part of the canopy lost a lot of the leaves that were on it. And when you first look at this area, you might see a lot of brown leaves, but Kaimito is sort of strange in that the new leaves, when they're emerging, look almost brown. They definitely are tan. And then once they open up, you get this bright, shiny green. So the good news is this whole area that has very few leaves has got a whole lot of new leaves coming. Uh, the bad news is that this area that has very few older leaves also dropped all of its flowers. Kaimito flowering season was right before the hurricane and so of course when the tree needs to survive the new flowers are something that is that are expendable. Some leaves that made it through the storm. Got some new leaves here, but these are all ones that lasted through this. Oh, look at this. There's a little star apple just roaring along. Oh, here we go. Here's the two more. So we will have some fruit. Looks like. Oh, there's even some little teeny ones. Quite adorable. So we're not going to have the normal amount of fruit, but on some of these branches that have the mature leaves, we have some little fruit that are forming. So here's some more mature green leaves that the tree was able to hang on to. You can see it's sending out new growth. In general, where the areas where they send new growth out, the, where trees send new growth, are, do, are not supporting fruit. Uh, here we have some new growth, and instead of new growth, at this particular juncture, we have a fruit. So there's another very small fruit and no new growth on that shoot. Here's uh, another fruit. No new growth in those two areas, and then at the end there is. There's another fruit. So in February or March, we should have at least a handful of Kaimito, but the good news we have to keep in mind is that the tree is doing well and we might have a lot of disappointed people in 2018. As long as things go well, 2019 will be a good Kaimito season.